Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Justin Timberlake is back. But this time, he's not bringing sexy back. He's bringing Satan back. And he really wants us to know he's one of those sick Hollywood weirdos. Here's a look at the blatant message behind his video, No Angels. When Justin Timberlake was part of NSYNC, he was America's frizzy-haired darling. His fans, mostly teenage girls, thought he had the voice of an angel and the dance moves of like an angel who dances really good. During that time, America had another darling, Britney Spears. And believe it or not, the two darlings became a couple. It was the ultimate early 2000s fairy tale, and it was almost as if their managers had engineered this whole thing for maximum publicity. Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears were both members of the Mickey Mouse Club, a child star factory that groomed numerous celebrities for the entertainment industry. When the two darlings broke up, Justin stopped being perceived as an angel. Indeed, with the release of Cry Me a River, which was said to be about Britney, people started to get a weird creepy vibe from him. And when he infamously exposed Janet Jackson's breast during the 2004 Super Bowl halftime show, he got a hefty dose of finger-pointing, although the whole thing was clearly staged. Despite these setbacks, JT's solo career took off in a major way. I mean, JT brought Sexy back. And that was not a small feat because we were all wondering where Sexy had gone this whole time. He was even dubbed the Prince of Pop, a title that placed him in the same royal realm as Michael Jackson, the King of Pop. In short, JT followed the typical path of a child star groomed for success, complete with mediatized relationships and the required humiliating events. But all of this was a long time ago. When most of these things happened, the President of the United States was George W. Bush. Since then, we've had all kinds of presidents, and the world has changed drastically. So, in 2024, is 43-year-old Justin Timberlake still relevant? Most will answer immediately with a resounding nope. However, JT still has fans, and he still releases music that requires media attention and promotion. Sadly, in order to stay in the good graces of the industry, the once darling JT needs to pay a price. A satanic price. Hence, no angels. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. As the song's title not so subtly implies, there is nothing angelic about No Angels. Its core meaning is satanic, and the video's filming location turns this piece of entertainment into an actual ritual that feeds on real sacred energy. JT pulls up in front of a mysterious building characterized by arabesque architecture. There seems to be a wild party inside. This is not just a random cool-looking location. It is the Angelus Abbey Memorial Park, a mausoleum in front of a cemetery. There are actual dead bodies all around this place, and, as we'll soon see, it's about to be thoroughly desecrated. Inside, there's a wild party, complete with people drinking, making out, and everything, inside an actual mausoleum. JT symbolically stands between two pillars, very Masonic by the way, and looks down at the party. He points at a person as if saying, JT wants you! On his way to this chosen person, JT stops at a bar. The reason? The people behind the video wanted us to see that they've gone through the trouble of building a bar inside this sacred place. Right above JT's head are two skulls and black ornaments, 
which hint at them desecrating the resting place of actual dead people. Also, it looks satanic, which is always a plus, especially considering what will happen in the video. Meanwhile, another Justin Timberlake is roaming around the party. The JT alter ego wears sunglasses. We'll soon see why. So, JT finally finds the person he's magnetically attracted to. Among all the hot models dancing at that party, JT is attracted to this person with a strange androgynous look. Something's off. JT and the woman start dancing, but things get rough, she suddenly scratches his face. Then, everyone is all like. Everyone at the party is actually a soulless demon. Considering that it literally took place inside a mausoleum, this is not that surprising. Usually, when people at a party stare at you like this, you do like the insync and go, bye bye bye. But instead, JT is like, let me see how that situation develops. Well, it develops in the worst way possible. JT's date turns into Lucifer, aka the fallen angel. I hate it when that happens. The angel starts spilling blood or black goo all over the place. When the devil starts throwing up blood at a party, it usually means that it's time to leave. But instead, JT is like, Wait, let me see how that goes. Well, it doesn't go well. In this screenshot, JT stands right under the devil spewing blood. Then he's unhappy about the fact the devil's blood is all over his face and his auntie's pearl is necklace. JT doesn't seem to understand the gravity of the situation. JT is not the only one that's splattered in blood. Everyone is. Then, everyone starts dancing again because being drenched in blood is cool and sexy. In this screenshot, two people drenched blood kiss passionately, thus ingesting the devil's blood in the process. Yes, we're still watching Justin Timberlake video. Once again, we are exposed to the occult elite's obsession with blood. Whether it is consuming blood or being drenched in it, this sick concept keeps popping up in mass media, and it is constantly depicted as a cool thing. In case there are people still watching the video, there's a big twist at the end. And it somehow manages to make things worse. At one point, the director yells, cut, and we realize that this is a video shoot. I'm so relieved. Good news, none of this was real. It was just a video shoot, and these demons were actors. Then, JT thanks everyone for helping him bring his vision to life. His highly satanic vision to life. Then, he goes outside and opens the trunk of his car. A bloody Justin Timberlake is inside the trunk, surrounded by disgusting tentacles. But hold on, that doesn't make sense. If Justin Timberlake is in the trunk, it means that, uh oh. JT sits next to the girl who played the devil. Seeing that she doesn't have eyeballs, she wasn't playing a role, she's actually a demon. JT doesn't have eyeballs either. He's the sunglasses wearing alter ego we saw earlier. The video ends on this unsettling note. Yet another pop music video that's blatantly satanic and has nothing else to offer. No wonder Justin Timberlake keeps flopping. He's become yet another soulless zombie churning out garbage videos to please his rulers. On one hand, No Angels is yet another satanic video spewed on the public the same way Lucifer spewed blood on JT's face. On the other hand, No Angels is actually a revealing video that exposes the true nature of the music industry. You see, those who churn up this satanic entertainment like to say that it's just fiction, it's just entertainment, and those who look too much into it are crazy religious fanatics. However, in No Angels, the woman who played the role of Satan was not an actress, it was a demon. And when Justin thanked everyone for bringing his vision to life, it was his satanic alter ego doing the talking. They acted as if it was an act, but it was not an act. This is an accurate depiction of the entertainment industry as a whole. Those behind this satanic stuff act as if it's an act, but it is not. They actually believe in this stuff, and these videos are not entertainment. They're outright rituals carried out for the masses. 
The fact that this video was shot in an actual sacred place proves that none of this is fiction. In short, the core message of this video is that these people are not faking it. Because in the higher ups of the entertainment industry, there are no angels. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.